Hi, and welcome back. Now, today is going to be a little bit different. Um, as you may have noticed, that uh, behind me I have a whole mountain of junk. Um, well, I don't think it's junk. Well, okay, maybe it is, some of it anyway. Um, but the thing is, it's really disorganised and there's stuff I just can't get to and therefore I'm not using. Um, so today I'm going to try and resolve that. Now I must admit I don't have the discipline to get rid of stuff. People like uh, Delroy's Garage, absolutely ruthless. Um, Johnny Cactus, um, who has the most incredibly small space I've ever been in. Um, and yet it's immaculate and he's got everything he needs. Um, so you've got people with relatively small spaces. Um, and then you've got people like uh, 63 Impala Two Door, who's got a massive space, and yet it's still immaculate. Um, most of the time, anyway. I know when he's working, it's a little bit pissy, but you know, people do manage. Whereas this is just a huge pile of rubbish. I am a hoarder. I do find it really hard to throw things away or sell them. Um, but for today, what I'm going to do is to clear this lot out and put a little bit more shelving in. Um, but to do that I've got to take everything out of the shed. So that's the plan for this morning at least. So this is the space that I've created um, and I'm going to put some heavy duty uh, industrial racking uh, into here if I can manage to put it together and get it set up right. Um, I've not used this stuff before but it's the standard boltless type uh, shelving. Um, but uh, so, let's see how it goes and whether it will even fit in the space in the first place. <laughs> It's pretty heavy duty. It's uh, more industrial grade than uh, consumer, which is pretty much what I want because, uh, um, you know, I've got this sort of stuff. I've had this sort of stuff, and it's great, but it's wobbly. Um, if you screw it to the wall, it's fine. Um, but if you leave it freestanding, um, then it's pretty poor um, and uh, not much good for anything. And since I want to store heavy stuff on it, um, this is where I am. Um, you can see it's just the usual uh, hammer together. Um, you've got these cross struts here with this heavy duty uh, grid on it. Um, I'm probably going to put some wood and stuff on here, partly because I've got lots of pieces of wood sitting around the place I need somewhere to store and this might be a nice convenient place to store it. Um, with other stuff on. Uh, shelf layout, well, we'll see. I've got four of those uh, boxes, only three of those will, I know from previous measuring, fit under there, um, and that's if they're that way around. Um, so one will go on the top, I might get another couple, um, because they're useful just for storing bulk stuff in. Um, these ones, and they're all over there, um, have all got two CV parts in them um, and on them we've got seats and stuff. I'm also hoping that um, I'm now going to have somewhere to uh, hook those paddock stands on. Um, maybe even get rid of one pair of paddock stands um, because uh, they just take up so much space. Um, so next job is to load it up um, with as much as I can which basically means clearing this area which means I've got to move everything out of the way, including stuff I've just put in the way. Um, still got to find somewhere to put the chassis. Um, that'll probably live back in front of this, um, but it's hopefully now only really going to be blocking two CV parts and not other bits and pieces that I'm just not using. Shelf layout, as I say, I'm not sure. There's not an awful lot of space on the top here. Um, as you can see, especially since I've still got this bar here, this might have to 
that I did use previously, putting that bar over there to hang the bicycles on. Um, that might have to come off, we'll see, but it will probably be used to store this sort of stuff. Okay, time for me to crack on and uh, get this loaded up because at the moment the bikes are all sitting out in the rain. So, uh, anyway, oh, and that reminds me, another project I've got going at the moment is to build a small patio outside the shed as you can see i've laid an entrance away i'm putting in a concrete sort of ring beam um, around here it's not reinforced or anything because it should be supported on inside and out it's just a sort of a container for the paving as you can see i haven't quite got to the end of that one because i'm gonna have to move those um, before i can do so and to move those i've got some need somewhere to move them on which will probably be on here so at the moment I'm putting paving slabs in um, so these are in here at the moment a bit undecided what I'm doing but I think I'm going to carry on with this stuff um, it's not cheap but it's not massively expensive either um, so anyway so that is an ongoing project and something else that's been taking up my time um, I'd hope to do something up today but it's raining so I probably won't maybe tomorrow well we'll see okay back to the shed let's get this done Okay, so racking in, loaded up pretty much, although there's some empty space in there in some of those boxes. Um, but I've still got a load of stuff, wood and stuff, that I couldn't fit in. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work. So, put a little tidier over this side. And generally speaking, I can get to access most stuff. Um, just had uh, an afternoon, a morning and afternoon with the boys. Uh, um, because uh, we have now a, a bike with no engine following uh, shall we say a catastrophic piston incident so we'll see where we go with that at the moment um, we're just taking the engine down because uh, the rest of that piston has got to be down in there somewhere and uh, there were still some metal flakes in the uh, in the engine because um, uh, it broke a valve and I think it's a valve that uh, kissed the piston and uh, appears to be the fault of uh, some fairly extreme wear on that uh, rocker arm there so we're thinking that the uh, valve timing went out resulting in uh, one dead piston um, so, as I say, so what I'm going to do now is strip this down, crack the cases, and generally check inside and give it a clean, and put it back together again. Just at the moment, um, need uh, something to uh, take the clutch apart, and I don't have anything. Um, maybe we'll use an air tool, see if we can uh, shock this out. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to have to fab up something to hold this together or buy a tool. Well, we'll see. Anyway, so. Shed is looking tidier, but with all that stuff over there, experience tells me I'm going to have difficulty getting the bikes in. So we'll see. That's my next task. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, see you again soon.